There that was this one did. thing we had to do, and it was like, uh, it was these assignments that we got every. It was when history and science, the teachers together got together yeah. for like. Oh, I remember those. Like some, what were yeah. they called? They were like, like it was like Fox projects. I think they were called or something like yes, that. Yes, Fox projects. Yeah, Fox projects. I didn't yeah. do a single Fox project. <laughs> I never did that. I had to stay in for recess like multiple times. Oh yeah, bad boy, you were huh? like quickly do these things just so I could yeah. like leave. Yeah, and that's the only time I ever did like box projects was when I was forced to. That's crazy. I felt like I was gonna like get in trouble if I didn't get this like one done by the end of this time period because like no, I, I never kinda... did that. That's crazy. I hated box projects. I thought they yeah. were the worst thing imaginable. And it's science teacher they were just, say... like, they were easy. Yeah. They were easy to do, which was not an issue yeah. but it was just how tedious the after effect was because one of them was like oh make a clay thing of like every continent yeah and it doesn't have to be perfect but you know do that and then mm-hmm. you had to write like some like paper like not paper but like yeah. uh, almost like an essay on specific things like landmarks on uh, in each continent and it's like yeah it would have just been fine if you made me do the the like the thing with like all the other things. Yeah. And then it's just like the minute you hit me with a write this essay, I was like, no. Yeah, it doesn't seem as fun. Yeah, and it's like it kind of throws you off a little bit with the whole you know assignment. Like most of the box projects had like a fun premise, and then they hit you with like the actual schoolwork, and it's just like, man. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah, I get that. I don't remember many like box projects, like assignments, just because it's been so long now. But like, I'm trying to think. I think we like mummified a carrot one time. That was pretty interesting. Or maybe that was something Ooh. different. But like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember doing that because that was actually fun. Yeah, and it's like that was like that was one of the assignments that you had to do during class. So it's not really like an official box project because yeah. most of them, it's like some of them we like you know you get out during class because the teacher would do it with you. Yeah, and then the ones that you didn't like you had to do on your own. I yeah. never did. Yeah, and the, homework, the, homework for me throughout yeah. middle school was just like, you know, the hit or miss meme. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Miss, I guess. <laughs> they never, yeah. Except you know, <laughs> this thing is they never hit, huh? They never, they never hit. Yeah, instead of miss. I remember I turned in. You know the t- the teacher that did the class. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I turned in an assignment to him, but it was like a little crumply. Yeah. And he didn't want to accept it. What? And it was fully done. I hadn't turned in homework for like a week. So and I that, turned in this one assignment and he didn't want to take it from me. I understand presentation could be an issue. Like I, I feel read like every but, single thing on there. Yeah. And, and he wouldn't fact, take it to me. He yeah. wouldn't take it from me. And he said, listen, I'll give you a new copy and just turn it in tomorrow. And I was like, okay, let me get full credit on it tomorrow. And he goes, no, it'll count as late. No way. And so, I said, oh, so what if I just give you the crumpled up one? He goes, it'll count as if it was late. I'll give you the same grade as if I'd give it to you if you gave it to me late. Who's the one? What? If you don't, I said to him, if you do not take this from my hands right now, you are not getting it tomorrow. I'd rather take the zero on principle than wow. than uh, redo this assignment. Yeah, it seems like. That's, and then yeah. I had to I had to do lunch. Uh, <laughs> I was I had lunch quote unquote lunch detention. It's just like homework, yeah. makeup. Yeah, just make up and homework. It was in his room. Oh, that's fine. And instead of letting me do the homework for classes that I was actually swamped homework in, he wouldn't mm. let me do it until I redid the assignment. He gave me a whole new copy. And wow. instead of letting me copy you over the work from my old assignment, he took it, crumpled it up, and threw it out. No way. Mm-hmm. I've so I had never to had that happen entire thing. assignment. I literally, I almost broke down in that class because I was like, I have so much other stuff i have to do wow. and you're gonna waste my time on this freaking assignment and it doesn't like it doesn't really teach you much i mean like yeah, I it doesn't teach me it teaches me that you're a big uh, like you can say a, it okay oh yeah uh, that works uh, i never right. had uh, like, like that i much don't want to yeah. like i'll swear it from now on it's just like it's yeah. just in my mind it's like i, I know you don't yeah. want to swear i, so I don't, don't want to swear yeah like, it's totally but, fine though. I, I respect that you that you care about it and all that. It's it's totally fine because I know it's like, you know, that's just that's just who you are. I mean, like you 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 know you swear when you say it, it, it's that's totally fine. You know, like that's you know it, it helps express yeah, what you're trying was, to say. You know, he was a huge jerk. I wanted yeah. to punch him at that point. 
I've never had that kind of a situation with him before. One time, my handwriting... He, he doesn't like my handwriting, because I, I am not a good handwriter. Dude, he's I'm, such a stickler, bro! Okay, I don't want to yeah. get on the topic and just, like, berate him, but he's such a stickler. He I know. He's such an ass. Yeah, because it's like, he, like... <sighs> He spent time with me. He's like, hey, you know, uh, I know your handwriting stinks. I mean, I, he didn't say like that, you know, like, you know, flat, oh my but, God. you know, he, he, he like, had me he work with him. He does not hold anything back. Yeah. Like, we, I had to spend, like, time, like, after, like, I, I think it was, like, during recess where we just kind of, like, we just worked on, like, handwriting, which is, like, again, helpful for me, handwriting and whatnot, but it's, like, I, I, I don't know. That was, like, the only extent where I was, like, oh, it's a little bit, like, I appreciate you want to help me work on handwriting, but it's, like, if every other teacher's fine with it and it's not like it can, it's still legible, like it's fine. Yeah. And, but like, and it, but like that, what he took, what he, what he had you do is not beneficial to any party. Cause like he could probably yeah, still read what, I, like I, I, never, I never, I never saw his paper. I never saw like what you handed in to him, but like <laughs> when it seems, I'm sure it's pretty legible. I'm sure it's decently like, it might be a little crumpledy of course, but like, I'm sure I mean, you're a middle schooler as well. Like it's not going to be like the beautifulest thing ever. It's probably just a, like a basic assignment so to have like the assignment you know ready for handing in you know he's gonna dock it points for you know something that probably wasn't on the uh, like a rubric requirement making it you know like um be had, like a perfect uh... piece of paper you know and then like again you know i just like that you know on top of like the option to like do it over the next day for not full credit you know you're gonna you're gonna lose time they could be spending with other things whether it's, you know whether it's video games or more homework but he's gonna still give you like less points because it's gonna be considered late and then he has you you know do it in class without like the help of what you just wrote down before because you threw it on the hey. trash and then not being able to do your other homework and the fact is you haven't handed in a piece of homework uh for like a week in his class it's like just give the guy a break get, like as in you give you a break you know I, you, you've got it right there and you know like it should be like if i was a teacher i'd be like okay thank you for going out of your i know you're not big on homework i know it you know it's hard but um i, I appreciate that you I, I, the I, worst I, reputation in his class but it's like i like how is it gonna go. how is it gonna get, how how is it gonna be encouraging when you go out of your way to do homework that you know you might not be the biggest fan of homework but like you did it you know i know like if a student uh, of mine did not get homework done that much but ended up doing it i'd be i'd try to like encourage him to do more not say hell mm -hmm. this stinks you know it's not presented properly go I, redo it you know as in like if as if he's gonna you know want to do it again yeah. and like I, I just don't feel I, like that's encouraging for someone who's not doing homework as much as they like could be you know <laughs> i had a reputation yeah. in that class to where some days i'd go in mm -hmm. homework would be due i know i didn't do it he knows i didn't do it yeah and I, i'd walk in and he'd go and he'd start collecting homework and he'd go logan you got your homework and i look up at him i go can i check my locker <laughs> and he just said to me, "What he said?" I like I did that every time, and I come back with no homework and be like, I don't, "It's not in my book bag." Yeah. And it got to the point one day I said, "Can I check my book bag?" He goes, "Is it actually in your book bag?" And I was like, "No, <laughs> no, no." I feel like I was like the polar opposite with that kind of stuff because I was, you know, I was very like on top of my homeworks and whatnot, just because like I felt like it was almost life or death with like schoolwork because like. I, uh, growing up it's like you know that's like one of my like that's just i don't know how to explain it like like schoolwork and whatnot like i feel like i kind of just my life revolved around school so i feel like i need to get this done or else i'm going to fail out or something yeah like you know very extreme I'm, I'm very nervous like, with that stuff so i was i never sure failed a class though that's awesome I, though the only yeah. time i failed i technically failed in the first quarter like mm. not fail failed but like didn't technically pass yeah and the the principal like we were in gym and he came into the like the principal came into the gymnasium pulled me aside and didn't whisper he just said why'd you fail science <laughs> really, everyone everyone could hear it he pulled me also like not even to like, like the actual corner or like out of the yeah. gym he just pulled me like uh, like three four <laughs> steps away yeah. and then said why'd you fail science why, <laughs> why you I'm like, science? And obviously as a little kid i'm embarrassed you know all my yeah, friends right. are now looking at me and like, oh, Logan yeah. failed science. So i said so i said i don't know and he goes no you know and i was like yeah i didn't do my homework <laughs> he's like no you don't do your homework and it's like the only reason i failed technically yeah. is because i think i bought like i didn't do well on a test mm-hmm 
but I was getting 80s and stuff in those classes. Like that's good. I mean, I like got like a 68. And he's like, yeah. you failed because oh, at the school man. it was a 70 pass. So I failed by two points. Oof. And so, like, I I passed the rest of the year. Like, I like that was fine. Yeah, but. I remember final project uh, for middle school. Yeah. Um, we had to do this big, long project. It took a year. It was like a year-long project. I think I know what you're talking about. And, this is a yeah. pain. And I did none of it at all throughout the no, year. No, nothing? Nothing. Yikes. The day before I was to present, yeah. I wrote up my entire thing. You must have been like an all-nighter. In 45 <laughs> minutes. No way. Yes. I That's took. Out, I literally Googled a bunch of generic uh, <laughs> statistics, yeah. threw them all in into like a presentation, put a uh, picture, like a picture at the end. Mm-hmm. And I, everyone knew it was rushed. Everyone knew it was rushed. Even the teacher? But like I had, well, obviously, yeah, but yeah, I had yeah. like a bunch of info. <laughs> Yeah, I had a bunch of info, so it looks like maybe I, you know, maybe spent like a week or two, you know, yeah, actually yeah. going through. I, mean, I think but better. Yeah, the interview part. Ooh, how do you? I yeah. never interviewed anybody. Yeah, that makes. So yeah. I basically I capped this. I, I lied on this. Mr. So Smith, talked to me. And if, uh... <laughs> if they're, if you know, that teacher's listening, <laughs> pranked. But <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> remember, kids, don't follow in Logan's footsteps when it comes towards your education. <laughs> procrastination is the best though it puts you on the spot and you do your best work under procrastination under pressure but, yeah you just kind of yeah yes <laughs> but as long as you don't crack under it you're fine yeah. but so my my grandmother knew this guy who did stuff related to my topic which was uh hunger okay in new york oh, and he okay. worked with and he worked at like a food it was he was a priest he told me all about him oh, everything nice. that he did mm-hmm. and i used that like i interviewed him Perfect. I mean, like, under pressure. And my presentation was I mean, yeah. five, ten minutes long. Yeah. And I was asked two questions: one by the teacher, one by a student. Yeah. And I just all my all all the boys knew that I didn't do this stuff <laughs> properly. Yeah. But I was so upset because, like, at the start of the year when we were able to choose the topics, yeah. I had been absent that day because it was a Monday, and oh, I hated Mondays because of music. Uh huh. So I'd cough a bit, and my mom would be like, "Listen, just go to your room." Oof. <laughs> but music, though, very important, you know. You I hated where music. You are right now. I, hated, I hated music. I yeah. hated music. It was such a terrible class. Yeah. But, um, so, uh, the morning. next day I come in and she goes, "Oh, you need to pick a topic." Hey. I'm like, "Okay, okay, pick a topic." I wanted to do depression at the time. Yeah. And then she goes, no mental health issues this year. It seems a little interesting, though, because it's a very... And I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we start... And then she goes, all right, everybody gather around. Because nobody told each other what they did. They yeah. all just emailed the teacher. And so the day comes, the same day that I chose my topic, uh, which was hunger in New York. Yeah. We go around. There's supposed to be no repeats. I technically repeated with somebody for yeah. hunger. Except I did state. He did uh, nationwide. Yeah. I wonder what's easier then because and, like yeah. Because I never mean, one yeah, kid yeah. did depression. Really? Mm-hmm. And it got approved. But 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 they Yep. They said, yep. They did yep. What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was so pissed. I sat there, I was fuming in my seat. I bet I didn't I'm... show it on my face, but I just was like Yeah. This is ridiculous. And like I only... really wanted to do the top like I was, like their presentation was a lot better. Yeah, I but know, that yeah. is mainly re- like the reason why I just didn't care about that project anymore. I well, it definitely would throw me off. I mean, like, is that the only mental health related topic as well? I think like, there was one more. Okay, but that was more dealt like with like um, it wasn't depression, but it was like uh, it was something. I I don't remember what it was. I don't remember half the stuff that was yeah. said anymore. Yeah. Um. I also had a bad time in their class with turning in homework too. Like there was this one presentation that I was supposed to turn in, yeah. and right as she was asking for people to present, I said, "Can I go to the nurse?" And she goes, "Uh huh, yeah," because my stomach was upset. Yeah, nurse. And it was, no, it was genuinely upset. Like I, uh, I have stomach ulcers. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. and like at the time, I think they were probably early. Okay. Forming. So my stomach was pretty upset. Yeah. So I went, so I wanted to go to the nurse and everyone just looked at me like, bro, you're trying to get out of this presentation. Did anybody else? She's know? like, you know, I'm going to have you present tomorrow. Right. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I'm not feeling well right now. Yeah. Did they know? I didn't, I didn't come back till I came back during that same exact class. Okay. So it wasn't like I was trying to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah. it genuinely was an issue. Yeah. And it's just like, I got the reputation with most teachers of just like, man, you do not do work and to, mm-hmm. you do whatever you can to get out of work. And I'm just like, that's true in most cases. Yeah. Cause yeah, I feel dang, like if I didn't hate every class except for math, you actually liked math. 